capo on the what is that three six nine tenth fret mm -hmm. so when you have it up on the tenth fret you could never tune the strings that high it's impossible they break oh, so I what see. you do so but the other strings remain open so they're standard whatever tuning you're in yeah. so when you uh, it's like shortening the neck on three strings yes and so when you do that so I still have an I still have an open string and I still have two open strings and then these three how high they are yeah. so it makes it sound like two guitars so if I take these off watch that's without them yeah, yeah. It sounds different very cool this is a tuning that I created this one is uh, go F ahead F A C G C C. Do you want to play it? Yeah. If you if open, if open it. That's the open tuning. I created this one. Yeah. So you just sort of played around with it until you found a, yeah. a tuning you liked. Yeah. It's a whole experimentation process. Sometimes I'll spend days just trying to find a new tuning, and then once I find it uh, a really good one, then I'll I'll work it for a while and try to extract as many songs as I can out of it. Do you write it down? I have to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've been working on it myself, actually. I have to keep a logbook in my tunings, otherwise yeah. I can't remember them all. Well, okay. especially if you try to play something like a, that you wrote two years ago, you'd be like, yeah. Oh, well, it's be, uh, the, main, the reason I need to keep a logbook is because of the capos. I don't know. Oh, Sometimes right. I use two capos on the guitar, a full and a partial. <laughs> and if I don't remember where the capos are, right. uh, then it's really. Well, you can use your hard. iPhone, I suppose. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'll so, give you yeah. just a quick demonstration of what this um, a little piece of a song I've just been working on without the capo, yep. and then another one just a piece of a song I've been working on with the capo, and you can hear oh. the difference. Okay, go so ahead. So this one is. So that's nice, that's nice. without yeah. the capo. Yeah. And by the way, there are no finger picks there. This is just his fingers hitting the strings in various weird and wonderful ways here. The only problem with this capo is it, it, it puts the strings out of tune a little bit. Hold on. Sure. Just. So this one isn't really a song yet, but it's... It So on that particular song, um, I'm actually, the style that I came up with, I'm using my left hand to beat the top corner of the guitar, right? and I'm using my right thumb to bang the harmonics, rather than oh. a lot of, uh, I used to, a lot of guitarists use their middle finger mm -hmm. or their index finger to bang harmonics, or mm -hmm. they'll they'll do finger tapping yes and uh, I've experimented with that I do a little bit of finger tapping but I found using the 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 the, uh, the thumb mm -hmm. at the point where the knuckle is almost yeah. on the inside yeah you can get you can really accentuate the, the banging and you can uh, you can get a little bit of note separation with it. It's kind of difficult. It's tricky. Right. I still haven't mastered it yet. I'm still working on it. So just for it. those who don't know what uh, finger or string tapping is, that is just hitting the string um, with with a... Okay, but you, you would hold down a chord, right, of some kind or have a nope. formation of your left hand? This Are is doing all harmonics. It? Oh, this harmonics all only. Harmonics. Okay. Yeah. where you're playing with your fingers, but you're actually tapping it with your left hand. Left, yeah, yeah up here in yeah. the corner. So okay. in that particular song, it's...
looks great. Well, you know, for you uh, folks watching this on video, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> uh, we are actually videotaping tonight, but... Uh,